six in the morning. It is 14 away from eight o'clock and it's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. There's Kelly Fox, whose son plays for Marion Center. She's wearing her Marion Center green today. Here to represent ICTC, but yes, <laughs> hometown girl in her MC green today. There you go. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac. Voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. I see that you have something very lovely and tasty over there with you, too. Right. Look yeah, so that. we always like to start off our segment, right, by highlighting our culinary department as mm-hmm. well as our graphic department for the nice label on the cover. But, uh, yeah, great coffee cake here wow. made fresh just for you here at Renda. Wow. I you, bet you and all your friends at work. I bet you the oven area smells really, really oh, good at ICTC. Yeah, yeah there, it is always so pleasant in there because, you know, we get spoiled. We have lunch every day prepared by our culinary staff and students, and it's just such a great yeah. treat to That'd have. It would be a tough room to walk into, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they've learned to, you know, kind of make the things that we like, and yeah. we've learned to like the things that they make, so it's a nice relationship we have. Yeah, well, I like that relationship, too. <laughs> <laughs> very, very much, and our thanks to everybody in the culinary department, and thanks to the graphics department for making it look so. And you've cool. never complained that I bring those every month. So I have I think never that done that. You must like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a complainer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've so got some enjoy. big things coming up. We do. You know, this is a great time of the year because the holidays are over, and this is the time of the year when we really get to share the ICTC with the community. Mm-hmm. And so we have been, of course, hosting our ninth grade tours and having all of our ninth graders from Indiana County invited in to see the ICTC. Uh, Those that were interested came back and shadowed starting last week, and we have a group coming in yet today. And so uh, we have those students, and these are prospective 24, 25 school year students, Mm -hmm. and they're coming in to check out our programming uh, for next year to be part of their schedule. And uh, following that whole routine of touring and shadowing, of course, we're opening it up to the families to come in yeah. uh, on an open house. Uh, we don't always get to have an open house on the 29th of February. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> but true. But we are this year because it's leap year. Yeah. And so uh, February 29th, next Thursday, uh, 5 to 7, uh, we'll be opening our doors to anyone that would like to come in and see the ICTC. And that includes our current students and their families, prospective new students and their families, or anyone in the community at large. It might be our adult learners. There might be some listeners this morning that are thinking about taking a course to help their own career path. And so our adult ed program will be represented at our open house as well. Well, that's nice because that that puts everybody into the building at one time. It does. It really does. It's a great evening. We always have a great turnout. And so, and of course, we'll have some great snacks. Yes. And so... Uh, It is just a good evening for everybody because there's a little bit of something for everyone. Well, it it brings up this. Um, You just mentioned that the the kids, the ninth graders have all come and and they've taken a look at ICTC as well. So now they get to come back with mom and dad and and maybe even grandma and grandpa too. Right. Uh, And they can show them what they were so excited about when they went home from their shadow day, Uh, when, when they visited and and they had sort of their eyes opened up and those are the students that come in they say hello and they go right to that program that they shadowed (laughs) and they meet that teacher and that teacher is there and available to share information we have some current students there that evening doing some demonstrations so that mom and dad can see the use of the equipment and the final product of some of the work that the students are doing Mm -hmm. Uh, so it is very very informative yeah and for those who don't know there are so many different program areas at ictc Um, and and, you know when you think about it um, if there is some sort of interest uh, in in a particular program they can get all the information they need about it if it's masonry uh, they can do masonry if it's um Welding, they can go to the welding program. That's right. The graphic arts, you just mentioned that. Yeah, and and so just hot off the press even, I'm glad you mentioned that masonry program, Todd, Mm -hmm. because just yesterday we had uh, our superintendents and board members had a meeting, and uh, it's now being decided we are going to continue our masonry program as a separate entity. Um, We had been talking about combining it with our carpentry program and calling it construction trades and having the students enrolled in that. Um, So 
we are just constantly looking at the best benefit for our students. And mm-hmm. so we're, we're able then to offer more by keeping them separate because those that want just the block and brick laying skills can keep in that masonry program. Yeah. And, and then we're still going to expand our uh, construction trades uh, and include electrical, a little bit of plumbing and mm-hmm. the carpentry work to make them a more well-rounded construction worker for the employers in our area. Yeah. And, and boy, is that field blowing up, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is. I, I mean, we're all of our programs are just so popular right now. Our enrollment is higher than ever. Uh, I believe that is a benefit of COVID and the economy that we're currently living in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think anyone, it's a secret to anyone that there is a need for skilled workforce yeah. right now. And so where do you get that? You get that with the ICTC. Yeah. And uh, we have 44 years of experience giving this type of education to our students. And we have great relationships with our employers. And it's just a great time to be at the ICTC. Used to be people thought that uh, in order to get a good paying job, you had to have a college education uh, in an academic oriented field. Uh, and, and the so-called hands jobs, hands on jobs uh, we're, we're lesser paying jobs. It's not the case anymore. You can get a really, really well paid job, uh, doing things that you love with your hands. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just heard a, something on the radio the other day. They were talking about the FAFSA program, of course, because there's been so many changes with financial aid yeah. and there's a debate about making it a requirement for high school seniors. Everybody should fill out the FAFSA. Mm-hmm. And, and I was glad that the person on the radio said, why would you require all seniors to do that? Have you read the news? And do you know how many openings there are for welders, auto technicians, yeah. all the things that make our world run and work? They don't necessarily need that four-year degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so why would you make someone think that they have to fill out that FAFSA to go on to school mm-hmm. to get that job? Because our students are getting the skills. They're getting the industry certifications to us that's their qualification. Yeah. And so then the employers are recognizing that. That's what they're seeking. That's why we offer those certifications. We work with our employers. We offer the certifications that complement their business. And our students receive those. And then they are job ready upon graduation. Yeah. But uh, having said that, there's also the opportunity to, to pursue further education. Absolutely. Don't hold anybody back, right? Yeah. Because there is a time and a place in a student's future, perhaps, for management or some other position that does require that associate degree or that uh, four-year degree. And so, you know, a lot of our nurses, of course, are going on to get their nursing sure. degree. And sure. and so we do have a pocket of students that do that. So, you know, there's benefit in both. As long as students are learning and advancing themselves and able to say to an employer, hey, here's my skills, this is what I can do for you, yeah. that's what we're looking for. Now we're approaching the five-minute mark here. Oh, we want to talk I'm, about one more thing. Yes, we are, because we always think of ICTC being up on top of the hill. On top of the hill, but guess what? We're downtown Indiana now. You are. How, yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. So we had a very nice invitation from Senator Joe Pittman and the staff in his office. You know, uh, if you know where Joe Pittman's office is located, it's between 6th and 7th Street right here on Philadelphia. And he has two beautiful display windows there. Mm-hmm. And on one side, there's been uh, several pieces of art displayed from an art gallery And they had never really done anything, they said, on the other side. And so they thought it would be great to have ICTC come down and promote our school, promote career and technical education. And we've had a lot of fun with the items that went into that window display. Yeah. Yeah. So if you drive by, and I hope you do, uh, check out Joe Pittman's window display because you're going to see some life-size characters uh, cut out of our current students. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we have some students standing in the window uh, Mm -hmm. on foam board. (laughs) And uh, we have a nice video running uh, that complements all of our programs at the ICTC. And so it's a nice piece for our our school, and it gets the ICTC name out there. And uh, if anybody's interested in a tour or uh, coming to see our programs themselves, we'd be happy to talk to them or see them at our open house coming up. Yeah. So the open house is next Thursday, the 29th. It is. Yes. And it begins at? 5 o'clock. 
5 o'clock. Yes. And no need for a reservation or anything. Just No, come. it's an open house. So come on in. And, and adult education students as well. Absolutely. This is a post post-secondary as well as a secondary type endeavor. So this is our whole ICTC. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity to learn about uh, what has become, you know, every single time we talk to you about it, what has become a a real, real key part of the educational picture in Indiana County. Oh, it really has. I mean, when we see that the majority of the ninth graders who came and took the tour uh, are coming back to shadow, that speaks volumes for their interest and what they're thinking. Yeah. You know, because it used to be a much smaller percentage and now it's much larger. Yeah. Yeah. So they're really thinking. And uh, I, I think the adults who are influencing these students as well know the value of those skills that we offer. And they see the re- results as our students go out into the workforce. All right. So there you go. ICTC. If you can't make the open house, there's always the opportunity to uh, to visit and tour ICTC. You just need to contact the school and you'll absolutely, them up. Yeah, absolutely. They could call and ask for Kelly Fox. They could ask for Mike McDermott, Mike Worthington. Uh, we're all available to give personal tours, and our teachers are always ready to share what they're doing with the students in the classroom. Beautiful. Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you, Todd. We appreciate that. It Have is, fun at the game tonight. We'll, we'll do that. Um, We'll actually be over at the uh, Northern Cambria Homer Center oh, game. Okay. But we'll have Jake there. I'm watching Marion Center play Good. West Shemokin. And- yes. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Fox News is coming up next at the top of the hour, a couple of moments away from now. And then it is Josh Whittison in our WCCS newsroom, two minutes away from 8 o'clock.